cardiopulmonary resuscitation is a life-saving technique useful in the many emergency, including the heart attack or near drawing in which someone breathing or heartbeat has stopped. Okay, this is the anatomy and physiology of the heart. How does blood flow through the heart? The right and the, the right and the left side of the heart work together. Blood enter to the right through two large veins in the inferior and the superior vena cava, emptying oxygen poor blood from the body into the right atrium. As the atrium contracts, blood flow from your right atrium into your right ventricle through the open tricuspid valve. When the ventricle is full, the tricuspid valve shock. This prevents blood from flowing backward into the atria while the ventricle contracts. As the ventricle contracts, blood leaves the, the heart through the pulmonic bulb into the pulmonary artery and the lungs where it is oxygenated. On the left side, the pulmonary vein empties oxygen rich blood from the lungs into the left atrium. As the atrium contracts, blood flow from your left, left atrium into your left ventricle through the open mitral valve. When the ventricle is full, the mitral valve shut. This prevents blood from flowing backward into the atrium while the ventricle contracts. As the ventricle contracts, blood leaves the heart through the aortic valve into aorta of the body. How does the flow through your lungs? Once the blood travels through the pulmonic bulbs, enter your lungs. This is called pulmonary circulation. From your pulmonic bulb, blood travels to the pulmonary artery to the tiny capillary vessel into your lungs. Here the oxygen travels from the tiny air sac into the lungs through the walls of the capillaries into the blood. At the same time, carbon dioxide, a waste product of metabolism, passes from the blood into the air sac. Carbon dioxide leaves to the body when you're once the blood is purified and oxygenated, it travels to the left atrium through the pulmonary veins. Look at the picture. There is a sinuses, Parynx, larynx, trochea, brochial tube, and the lungs. The lungs, there is two brochial and the alveoli. Now we're going to define what is cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation is a technique of basic life support for oxygenating the brain and the heart until appropriate definitive medical treatment can restore normal heart and ventilatory action. The purposes of cardiopulmonary resuscitation to maintain an open and clear airway, B to maintain the breathing by external ventilation, C to maintain the blood circulation by external cardiac massage, and to save life of the patient, provide basic life support till medical and advanced life support arrives. What is the indication of cardiac arrest? Number one, ventricular fibrillation. Number two, ventricular tachycardia. Number three, acestole. Number four, pulseless electrical activity. What is the indication of respiratory arrest? This may be the result of the following. Number one, drowning. Number two, stroke. Number three, foreign body in the throat. Number four, smoke inhalation. Number five, drug overdose. Number six, suffocation. Number seven, accident injury. Number eight, coma. And the last one, epiglottis paralysis. The principle of cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Number one, to restore effective circulation and ventilation. Number two, to prevent irreversible cerebral damage due to anoxia. 
when the heart fails to maintain the cerebral circulation for approximately 4 minutes, the brain may suffer irreversible damage. Cardiopulmonary Resuscitation Procedure Sequences of procedures performed to restore the circulation of oxygenated blood after a sudden pulmonary and or a cardiac arrest. Chest compression and pulmonary ventilation performed by anyone who knows how to do it anywhere immediately without any other equipment. These are the procedure of cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Number one, approach safely. Number two, check for the response. Number three, shout for help. Number four, open airway. Number five, check for the breathing. Number six is call 108 or 911. And number seven, 30 chest compression. And the last one, number eight, is to rescue breath. Number one, approach safely. Watch and observe. Number two, check for the response. Check for the response. Shake the shoulder gently. Ask, hey, 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 are you okay? If he responds, live as you find him. Find out what is wrong and then reassess regularly. Shout for help. And then open the airway. Head tilt and chin lift. Lay rescuers, non-healthcare rescuers. No need for finger sweep unless solid materials can be seen in the airway. Check for the breathing. Look, listen, and feel for the normal breathing. Do not confuse agonal breathing with a normal breathing. What is agonal breathing? Agonal breathing occurs shortly after the heart stop in up to 40% of cardiac arrest, described as barely heavy, noisy, or gasping breathing recognized as a sign of cardiac arrest. Call for 108 or 911. Then give 30 chest compression. Chest compression, place the heel on the one hand in the center of the chest. Place the other hand on the top. Interlock fingers. Compress the chest. Then rate 100 per minute. Deep. 4 to 5 cm or 1.5 to 2 inches. Equal compression, relaxation. When possible, change the cardiopulmonary resuscitation operator every 2 minutes. Give to rescue breath. Rescue breath, pinch the nose, take a normal breath, place lips over the mouth, Blow until the chest rises, then take about one second, allow chest to fall, and then repeat. And then, continue the cardiac pulmonary resuscitation. These are the possible complications. Number one, coronary vessel injury. Number two, diaphragm injury. Number three, hemopericardium. Number three, next, hemothorax and then interference with ventilation. Then liver injury, myocardial injury, pneumothorax, rib fractures, slim injury, and then the last one is the external fracture. Nursing management maintains airway patency with the use of airway adjuncts as required. Suction, high flow oxygen with oxygen or bug valve mass ventilation, assist with the intubation and securing or ETT, insert gastric tube and or facilitates gastric decompression post-intubation as required, assist with ongoing management 
or airway patency and adequate ventilation. Support less experience stop by coaching and guidance. Example, drug preparation. If shockable rhythm is present, ensure manual defibrillator pads are applied and connected. If CPR is progress, prepare and independently double check and label the three doses of adrenaline. Prepare and administer IV fluid. Document medication administered, including the time and the date.